Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com and this is what we're gonna do today. Okay, sweet. So here are our MIDI notes and you can go ahead and take a screenshot if you want. And once you're done with that, we're gonna get right to it. So let's get to it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in my Massive and in this Massive, as always, click on the File menu and New Sound. So we're gonna be working with the first two oscillators and the first one, I'm gonna let it be as it is and uh, bring it to Filter 1. And then we can go in our Voicing tab over here and in this voicing tab, let's go and make this um, seven voices and click on monophonic. And then in the oscillator tab over here, make sure your glide time down here is all the way at zero. And I'm gonna copy these MIDI notes or this MIDI clip, mute my track, and this is what we have so far. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is turn on my modulation oscillator and turn the phase modulation on for my first oscillator and let the phase be where it is and check it out. Okay, awesome, that sounds really terrible. So we're gonna make this much better and go to the voicing tab, turn on the pitch cutoff and the pan position, take the pitch cutoff slider, move it to the right until you see about two bars right there. And then on the pan position, we can move this to the middle and start messing with it for wideness. And if I move this around, then it's gonna make it wider. Okay, sweet. So what we can do next is go to our filter tab and grab a low pass four, turn down the resonance, go to the fourth envelope, and bring down the level, the decay level. And then I'm gonna go to the really, whoa, where did that come from? Uh, what? That was weird. Anyways, bring up the release to about 12 o'clock, and then I'm gonna grab the fourth envelope and put it on my cutoff. Bring this down, click and drag this all the way up. Okay, sweet, so that's kind of getting close to the sound that we're looking for. And now we can go in our effects one, grab something like Classic Tube, turn down the drive, turn down the wet level, and check it out. So it just makes it a little more fatter and uh, heavier. And then we can grab something like a reverb, small reverb, or Dimension Expander. Bring the size down a little bit and the wet levels as well. Or actually we're gonna mess with this, so check it out. Okay, sweet. So now we can go to our EQ, turn that on and bring down the low shelf a bit and raise the high shelf and then check it out. So it just makes it a little more uh, lead-like and less bassier. Okay, let's turn on the, the second oscillator and select a rough math one. I'm gonna leave everything as it is and bring this amp down and, you know, check it out. Okay, sweet. So that makes it a bit more bassier, gives it more character, sounds really good. Let's bring this down for now. And we're gonna, we're gonna be using these macro knobs down here to control that later with other parameters. So let's go and turn on these inserts down here, both of them. In the first one, I'm gonna pick a hard clipper and I'm gonna leave the settings as they are. And in the second one, let's go grab a parabolic shaper and bring down the drive to about 10 o'clock. And if you, want these ins oh, if you want the second insert to work, you're gonna have to go into this routing tab and Boom. 
very, very not scary at all, guys. This is very, very not scary. So all we got to do is one simple click, which is right here on this, this guy right here. So one simple click and click and let's get out of here. Okay, cool. All right, so that was not scary at all. And now this is what we have. And we will be covering that routing part in another tutorial, so definitely stay tuned for that. But now the fun part is these macro knobs. So grab the second one, put it on the amp of my second oscillator, bring it up, drag that on my WT position of the first oscillator, click and drag it all the way down and check it out. Okay, and now I can grab my third macro, place that on my pitch of the first oscillator and the second oscillator and the pitch of the modulation oscillator. And then we can, um, we can take these pitches to 12 or like an octave, raise them by an octave. And that's something I really like to do with macros. And I can also take this third knob and place that on something else. Maybe my release. Okay, I don't know what's going on with that knob today. Actually, that part sounds much better when you have the same note playing. All right, so that is really cool. And now we can take our fourth macro place that on my cutoff, filter one, and I can maybe take the same knob, place it on my phase, increase that, place the third one on my phase as well, increase that kind of a little bit, and then what else can we do? We could take this and, oh yeah, we can maybe take the second knob, place it on the low shelf, increase that a little bit, so that every time we raise this knob, it gets a little more bassier. So check it out. Right, guys i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and definitely stay tuned for more until next week peace